Guys, today I'm going to show you what to change out on a, um, this is a 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan. And a lot of people say with this issue that they will have an erratic speedometer, have hesitation between gassing where you'll kind of have to let up the gas in order for it to catch. So a delay in uh, movement as you press on the gas I'm no mechanic, but hours of research, I figured I would save you some of the time that I put in. So a big problem with these caravans are the input, which is down here, and the out or the output. Usually it's the output, which if you follow the wires that go through, you'll see that over here, where am I? Okay, here is the output, right down there. So I'd say if you have any type of like transmission code that comes up, um, or if your speedometer is acting erratically, this is the part here, 917602, and this is the output. They didn't have the input. I was gonna change both just while I was down there, just, you know, take care of both of them. But for the time being, I'm just going to change out the output, and the output again is right down here on some of the vehicles, and I didn't know um, if you turn the tire to the left, you would usually find one like right in here where they're just very easy accessible. Always, first and foremost, anytime you change out parts, disconnect the negative battery terminal. The next thing you're going to do is unplug that clip. So you're going to remove that clip. Just like you can see here, the one right in the middle, that's the input. You're just going to unclip that piece off. So what I found with this clip is that it is a lift tab. So you don't push in to get it off. You actually pull up the little side tab. I don't have a one inch socket, so I'm going to use this guy and he fits in. So I'm just going to connect him right to that and give it a little twist. Just remember that the part is plastic, so you don't need to apply much pressure, neither when you put it back in. It is the old part. This is the new. <clears throat> Always compare them. Okay, they look identical. Now I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna screw it back in. It just was really easy. I gave it about three turns with this and then um, manually unscrewed the rest. And the easiest way I found to get it back in, because we're right here, is coming in, turning the tire, and I actually, you do what you gotta do. It's drizzling outside. Because doing it from the top, it's a little difficult with making sure the wires stay out of the way. The tip does have a magnet, but getting the threads to line up just so precise, it's just easier, I believe, to do it down here. So I'm gonna manually tighten this up and give it one twist from the top. Here we go, got it in. Don't listen to that one twist. If I had a one inch socket, it probably would have been one twist, but tighten it um, to where it's manually tightened, mostly to get that white circle lined up to the top, I'm assuming. Don't take that for Bible. Now I'm just gonna connect that back to the end. All right, and one thing I wanna show you is that, that circle right there, how we said that that pretty much is at the top there. Just use your indicator because here's the circle here, here's where it locks, and the two, and the, the prong, two prong connections is going to be where that circle is. So that's how you're gonna to wanna to pop them back in. All right, 
got that snapped back in place. It snapped, so hopefully it's as far as it needs to go. Let's reconnect the battery. Let's give her a start. I'm going to turn it on and off a couple times because, like I said, I'm no mechanic, but a lot of times for different things they say <laughs> to do that. So I'm just going to do it. Okay. No battery light. I mean, I'm sorry. No engine check light on, but I did just connect the negative battery. And sometimes with a lot of vehicles, you'll disconnect that and the engine light will um, disappear and then come back on but it feels so much better all right guys and there you have it so it seems like it would be um you know for the dodge grand caravan for the town and country different vans that's the first thing that i would do is if you're having like a transmission code pop up or something like that seriously or your speedometer is going erratic um, that's the first thing that I would do. I would change that out. It seems like there are multitude of symptoms that that little bad part will create. I would just change that out. It's a $20 part, guys. You know, the, the worst thing that can happen is that you actually need a different part, but you spent 20 bucks and you know that that's, that's um, brand new. That seems to be a major, major problem. I've spent hours and hours looking at other YouTube videos, and it seems like that that little bad boy right there is the culprit to so many things. So guys, I hope this helps you. If it does, please leave a comment, and with the symptoms that you had, hopefully it'll help the next person along. Namaste, everybody have a good day.